guys, it's Nikki, and welcome to this week's plan with me in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral. This week I am going to be using the Tranquility Deluxe Kit. Um, I asked on Instagram if you guys would like to see a spread using this kit, and a few people said yes, so I went ahead and did that, and I'm so glad that I did. I love how this turned out, and I'm also using a bunch of items from this week's $2 Tuesday. I'm not sure if these will still be up by the time that this video goes up. Oh my goodness, Ozzy. He just came over here and got his ball. Anyway, um, they are going to be coming down Thursday morning, so I guess more than likely they would still be up. Um, but they are like a marble background as well as a gray ombre, and I thought that they looked really nice with this kit. I am so in love with how this turned out. Um, I tried a few new ways of doing like lettering and whatnot, which I'm not good at. Um, but I do like how it looks, and I think that I'm getting a little bit better. Um, but you guys will see in a second. So I went ahead and put down my bottom washi, my date covers, and my flags up top. I did not use date numbers, mostly just because I couldn't find any that matched. That's kind of what I'm digging for right here. I did also use some items from some other shops, um, some like character items, which you guys will see in just a second. This is me still searching for those uh, date numbers. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and work on my sidebar for a second. I want to do a glitter header, a, a full box. I'm so sorry for that. I can't make him quit. He, I swear he knows when I sit down to film. He has not played with that ball all morning. And as soon as I sit down to film, that's the first thing that he goes for. Anyway, I'm going to do a full box, a daily tracker, and then I'm going to do an ombre heart checklist with a to buy because I have quite a few things that I need to pick up this week. And then underneath that, I'm going to do just another full box. Um, I'm not going to use a tracker this week. I'm going to see kind of how that goes. I normally use my trackers to either track mom's hours or what I'm working on that day. But I ended up just kind of putting that within my actual week. So now that I've got this zoomed in, um, I want to go ahead and do a row of glitter headers all the way across the top. Speaking of mom, she is going to be going down to Disney on Friday and she's gonna be gone about a week. Um, so for this coming release on Friday, I'm gonna be releasing a bunch of hobo stuff, um, functional items, possibly a few kits, but it's some stuff that I've been working on. Um, and I think that releasing a bunch of those instead of doing new collections that are like deluxe, mini, V6, all that, will make it a little bit easier on me while she is gone. I do want to go ahead and say as well that when she gets back, we are going to do a Hobo Weeks $2 Tuesday. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys that a little bit more as we get closer to it. But uh, for the beginning of Monday, I went ahead and stuck down a flag as well as this Take Out the Trash uh, Doodle Script. That is from $2 Tuesday items. Underneath that, I'm using a sticker from Toffee Bananas and just writing in $2 Tuesday listings. And then, because I always get it wrong, I went ahead and put down my full boxes so that I could figure out exactly where my glitter headers needed to go um, underneath those. Speaking of, I have seen the sneaks now for the new Erin Condren's. And while I'm not a huge fan of the upper left or the fact that things are rounded, um, although anything rounded, honestly, I'm just gonna cover with a sticker and make it normal, I really like the lines and I like that there's not really headers um, but instead there's just like a simple line. I think that's going to make it really easy to cover without having to kind of separate things the way that I feel like I have to in this planner. Um, but yeah, anyway, random side note. <laughs> so in the bottom section I went ahead and put in Grove Delivery. I did get a delivery from Grove, from, I can't talk, Grove Collaborative. And I did film a haul for that that will be up in the vlog that will be going up next week. And then I went ahead and wrote an edit vlog. Um, I need to get that finished and uploaded. So I've got a vlog that will probably already be up before this video. And it is kind of like a week in the life of a sticker shop owner behind the scenes um, while participating in a collab sale, the Ultimate Planner sale to be exact. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy that. So moving over to Tuesday, I am taking a $2 Tuesday sticker that is from one of the $2 Tuesday sheets. Um, and then underneath that, I'm going to do one of these eighth boxes and write in newsletter. I always like to send out a newsletter with the new $2 Tuesday items. I don't know that I sent one out with new releases last week, um, but I do like to do it for $2 Tuesday since those are something that come down. 
So I am using another sticker from Toffee Bananas and it has this girl that's just like throwing her hands in the air with a glass of wine. I know that this is more for like going out dancing, but uh, Tuesday is finishing up all of the Ultimate Planner sale orders, so I felt like that was incredibly necessary and uh, worked out really well for that. So underneath that, I'm going to go ahead and put in Upload Vlog, um, and then I need to pay my water bill, so I'm going to go ahead and use another one of those little eighth boxes, as well as a money bag icon that is from the $2 Tuesday sheets, and just write in water. These icons on the $2 Tuesday sheets are one of my absolute favorite things, and I think that in the coming weeks, I want to do a sheet of the doodle icons without the scripts and have those available as well. Underneath that, I'm going to do a grocery cart and just put in shorts and bag. I need to pick up some longer shorts as well as get a like a tiny little cross body bag that I want to take to the lake. Um, I normally just carry all of Aussie stuff, but to be completely honest, it's a bit of a pain when I don't have pockets, so I want to get a little bag. Also, if you can hear that, Aussie is destroying a cello bag in the hallway right now. So moving on to Wednesday, I am going to take an appointment label up top and write in invoices. Once Ultimate Planner sale orders are finished, I need to invoice everything else that's currently in the shop. Down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and do just a strip of washi and then one of these laundry um, doodle icons. So these are from the $2 Tuesday sheets as well. Then on Wednesday, I'm going to use this WTF sticker that is from Once More With Love, and I'm going to go ahead and write in toner pickup. And then underneath that, another eighth box, and I'm going to go ahead and write in cut plus package. I want to go ahead and get started um, on those orders as well. And then all the way at the bottom, I did put in a sticker to remind myself to order Glossy paper plus mailers. Um, we went through glossy paper and mailers within like, well, technically it was from the Ultimate Planner sale, but like within a week. I think that's the fastest that we've ever gone through that. Um, and then underneath that, I'm gonna write in PR images. So I have got new PR samplers that will be coming out on Friday, as well as um, PR codes. We're gonna go back to doing those again. So there will be a 15% off code for each PR member, um, as well as a new sampler. So keep an eye out for that. Moving over to the second half of the week, I'm going to go ahead and put down all of my full boxes as well as all of my glitter headers. And Ozzy is now destroying something new in the hallway, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. I don't feel like the microphone that I use for this is like the best quality, but I do think that sometimes it picks up some other stuff that's going on in the background. So I apologize. Um, so I want to take one of these eighth boxes and I'm going to write in Insta messages. Um, I mentioned in the vlog, I've had a lot of shop owners message me about sampler swaps, which is actually the next thing I'm going to put in underneath this. Um, and I have not responded back to everyone yet. I also need to respond back again to some other people that I had spoken to before. Uh, but that's what I'm going to work on, I believe, on Thursday. So I will be responding to everybody. Um, I'm so sorry that I really shouldn't have mentioned that when I did um, right before a big sale because it, I got super overwhelmed and was not able to deal with that. But I am going to be working on that um, on Thursday, so I will hopefully be able to get those shipped out on Friday. Um, underneath that, I'm going to go ahead and do just a strip of washi. I want to do one of the bows that's from the $2 Tuesday sheets, and I'm going to write in incredibly tiny uh, Tranquility Gloss and Premium. Those have been printing. I don't think we're going to get to them, though, until Thursday. Um, but I do think that we should be able to get through the majority of them on Thursday and then hopefully start shipping glossy on Friday and premium on Monday. Uh, the premium ones will need to be pressed. Uh, but, yeah, so Mom will be gone Friday, though. So Friday is going to be just me working on um, foiling and packaging and all of that. So it's going to be a little bit slower because I'm slower without mom. <laughs> anyway, moving down, I've got this adorable sticker from Van Sticky, and I'm gonna write in test prints, listings, and film and upload. And then underneath that, I'm gonna do another eighth box and write in DVC, VW, VC, and then a wallet icon, also from the $2 Tuesday sheets. Um, those are just some bills that are gonna be due on Thursday that I need to make sure get paid. Moving over to Friday, I wanna go ahead at the very top and stick in a new releases sticker. Like I said, we're going to do some um, Hobo Weeks releases, a lot of functional stuff. I've got some boxes that are ready to go, um, bow boxes as well as just like foil outline boxes. 
I have some heart checklists. I do want to work on the second sheet like add-on for the kits. I don't know that I'm gonna have that done this week though. Um, and then possibly some new kits as well. Just kind of depends on what I'm able to get through and then also I don't want to really overwhelm myself um, with mom being gone for the next week. So down at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and write in cut $2 Tuesday and then up top I'm gonna write in um, package and ship. I am gonna try to get through as many of the open orders that do not have $2 Tuesday in them as I can. Um, and then like I said hopefully by Friday we can go ahead and start shipping out this kit um, that's glossy. So. Underneath that, I am going to, I tried to stick this in with a clear one and then I decided instead I would rather use the one from $2 Tuesday. So this is just a laundry basket icon that has a script that says fold laundry. Um, and it just wasn't dark enough, I felt like, the color of that washi with the clear. And then also it would have been like the only clear one on this entire spread, which would have looked kind of weird, I think. Um, so I'm in my calendar right now because I'm trying to figure out when the Erin Condren releases. I think it's the 5th, but apparently I didn't put it in there, so I ended up not adding it to the planner. I am going to be picking up quite a few things from that release, and a lot of the reason is just to have it for sizing, um, for photos, stuff like that. I do think that the neutral looks similar enough to what I'm using now that I will still use that. Um, and then I think I'm going to pick up a horizontal, I'm going to pick up a colorful, I'm going to pick up a binder. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get all those things. I'll see what actually ends up working for me and what doesn't. I also just ordered a yellow paper house planner, so I'm going to see about that too. Um, and now that I've skipped all of Friday, so or not Friday, Saturday. Uh, for Saturday, I put in cut to $2 Tuesday. I put in a flag. All of these flags are from $2 Tuesday as well. Um, and then a grocery shop script. I put in an appointment label and wrote down mortgage and then Netflix binge all the way down at the bottom. For Sunday, I did an appointment label up top that says change sheets, um, an eighth box that says foil $2 Tuesday, as well as a plan script. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put in edit and upload, pick list, and then planner picks. So that is this week's finished spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, what do you plan on picking up from the Erin Condren release, if you plan on picking anything up at all. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.